Today we are going to make this really fun and simple children's apron pattern. So the first thing you need to do is download the pattern. It's free. You can get it in the link in the description. Um, this comes in sizes infant, kind of toddler I guess you would say. So two years old to uh, six years old. Um, you can make adjustments to make it a little bit longer so that it would fit a taller child as well. Um, so get the pattern, print it out, put it together, then find your fabric. And you are going to place your fabric on the fold, and then you're going to pin your pattern to the fold as well. So you actually just have to cut out um, one of these patterns. And I'm hoping my little guy helped me here. Um, I'm just going to use my rotary cutter and my ruler to cut out this apron pattern. Just makes it a little bit easier than cutting with scissors, but again, that's totally up to you. Um, sometimes I like to cut with scissors, and sometimes I like to use my rotary color cutter. I guess it depends on which one's sharper. Um, and like here, my corner's not so great. All right, now you're going to cut out the ties. Um, you're going to have three different ties. Um, two of the ties are going to be for the sides, and two of the ties are going to be for, um, or excuse me, and one of the ties is going to be around the neck. Okay, so um, these two ties are, let's see, about 25, 28 inches long, um, and this one here, I'm just estimating at the moment, it looks like it's probably about 23 inches, and again, that's in the pattern. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to put your ties right sides together. So you're folding one of your ties in half long ways, and you're going to stitch down a, at a quarter of an inch seam allowance down the ties. So I actually like to do what's called a chain stitch, and that's when I um, just continuously stitch. So I've stitched one of my ties. I'm going to stitch the other one here down the side all the way down to the end. And you can see that I did stitch one of the short ends of that tie. Um, and I'm just clipping those ends of those short ends because this is gonna be my ties that are on the outside. And I want that raw edge on that outside of those ties to um, not show. Now I'm just gonna take um, this pin here and I'm gonna turn my um, ties right side out. So this works on the two ties that will go on the side that I stitched that short side with. And I can actually just turn my ties really quickly. And I just use my fingers to kind of push those corners out. You could also use a pen or a wooden dowel to really get those corners nice and crisp. Do the same thing with the next one. So you kind of see how I open that side and then I just kind of push my pen through. Once you have all three ties turned right side out, um, take your iron and press them really well. I like to use steam if I'm using a cotton material especially. Once those are pressed, I'm going to press my apron really well. And then I'm going to fold it along the curved edges a quarter of an inch and press it. And then I'm going to do that again, a quarter of an inch and press. And that's just on those curved edges to start. Once those are done, I'm going to do the two side edges, same thing, quarter of an inch, quarter of an inch, and then I'm going to do the top edge as well, a quarter of an inch, quarter of an inch, okay? The last piece I'm going to do is the bottom, and I'm going to go up a half an inch, and then a half an inch. So that one's just a little bit wider, and that's just, for me, preference on the look. And then all I have to do is stitch around my apron all the way because all of those edges are already pressed and all I have to do, <coughs> excuse me, is stitch them down. Finally, I'll take my tie that goes around my neck and I'm gonna pin it in place on either side of the top of the apron. And I'm gonna do the same thing for the sides. Now for that neck um, tie, you want to make sure that it's going to go over the child's head and you want to measure it so that it doesn't go too low on the chest. But sometimes it's going to go lower than you want because their heads are big. The next thing you're going to do is stitch the ties down. 
just going to stitch them down. I like to do a box square, so I sew a square around, and then sometimes I'll put an X through that. It'll just kind of depend on how you like to sew. Um, you can just go forward and back stitch on both of those, and that would be fine as well. The box stitch just gives it a little more security, so if it's going to get a lot of use, I would suggest doing uh, uh, sewing that box around the entire thing. And there you go. There is your apron.